Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. What is their true intentions towards you? So this is going to be examining. First of all, I'm going to go over the overall energy. What's happening right now? What's the blockages? What's currently going on in the situation? And then also I'm going to be looking at, okay, what are their long-term intentions towards you? What are they intending to do with this connection? Like, are they intending to be serious about it, play games? What's going on with this situation? So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Also, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, multiple cards want to come out for you guys. Let's just take a look at these first. When I see this card, I see this card in a couple of different ways. This card is the card of giving, okay? I feel like a person really wants to give to you. They want to um, be a giving person, but they are holding back a little bit, okay? So they're not giving everything. Um, I feel like this person, uh, your person, your love interest has very strong attraction to you. Like they definitely feel you as very sexy, very attractive, and they wanna stick around because yeah, they do wanna stick around for this. And then we see the Magician card. The Magician card, now you can see the Magician card in a couple different ways, but we're not seeing very negative cards around this, so they're pretty positive cards. So I would say your person has a sense that you are very uh, powerful, that you're an ideal partner for them, that you have everything that they could possibly need in the situation, that they really want to gain power or manifest uh, what they want out of this situation, okay? They also may feel like, I feel like for some of you, they may feel like you're very wise also, okay? Okay, so, all right, so let's switch up camera views here. As you guys can see, I have multiple decks here so we can really break down what's going on with the situation. All right, so, what is Libra's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to have? What is Libra's love interest? Two long-term intentions towards them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's lay down these cards. Let me just make sure my sound sounds okay. How do I sound, guys? All right, so we got the Chariot card energy. Okay, we got, we're gonna put this one up here. We got the Ace of Swords energy. We have the Ace of Wands energy. We have the Seven of Wands energy. Oh my goodness, we got the tower card energy. We have the hangman energy. Mm, okay. And we have the knight of pentacles. So let's also lay down six cards here for what is their long-term intentions towards you. We can always lay down more later, but let's just lay down six for now. I'm definitely going to be using multiple decks, so... The overall energy shows something secret, something yet to be known, or some of you guys are very highly intuitive, okay? That also may be why the Magician card came out too. Um, this person may feel like definitely you're, you're spiritually connected somehow, because uh, we see this, this, this opportunity is being dangled to you. It's interesting, oh, also, this particular card is coming out, and then this particular card is coming out, because it's interesting, they both form an X. Mm-hmm. And uh, X marks the spot, that's for sure. But in, if you look at it from a rune perspective, it can represent a gift, some kind of gift. So uh, I feel like um, there seems to be some decision making going on here. And I feel like you guys, yes, when we have the owl in that card, I feel like you guys are trying to make the best decision for yourself, you know, because intuitively you know what choice to make, but you're kind of headbutting yourself about it. Um, and you're kind of tied to two different situations for some of you guys, okay? Um, okay, so let's go into the reading here. And the block, it seems to be, you can see, the block, it seems to be this shock and surprise that happened. The shock and surprise that happened in the situation that caused this blockage. So somehow this person, your person, because we're looking at the current, what's going on here. Your person was shocked by something, surprised by something. It took them by surprise. We're going to get more information here. But it definitely brought some things down within this person that they just were like, what the heck? It looks like it could have involved other people too. Um, 
Yeah, other people were involved somehow. Okay, so we see in the past, yeah, because we even see there's these dogs down here, and uh, they're not really in a good mood there. You can see they're coming at that person. It's like an angry kind of energy. And we see this person's trying to defend themselves against this situation that's going on here in the past. Like, I have a higher ground. He has, he, has, he has a smile on his face, and he's like, I have a higher ground here, and I don't care what you guys have to say. And then we see in the current, there's a lot of desires here. There's a victory here. Someone's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm having the strong desires. And we see that you guys are going to get the answers that you want here and need with the Ace of Swords energy. Yeah, because the influence is, seems like there's some slow walking going on, some overanalyzing going on with the Knight of Pentacles energy, slow actions taken here, okay? P possibly towards Virgo Capricorn energy. So let's get more information here. What's my Libra's love interest long term attention towards them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you're not the only one that's got this card coming out. This card means end, stop, to complete, right? There's desires here. There's a willpower here. There's a lot of wills of play. Someone wants to end, stop, to complete something here. Okay. Okay, so I feel like if I go like this, I can see that there's a person that wants to take away an ending, take away something that they did, and give you clarity. And also, I hear, I always go by omens, I hear birds, a lot of birds chirping outside. They want to talk with you. They want to speak with you. They want to speak with you. Okay, so keep going here. Your focus has to be on, or that right now your focus should be on this new beginning and spending some time going out. We see the court card coming out, so it could talk about going out, spending some time, a new opportunity. So we see, or uh, a new beginning. We see in the past there was some advice that was given, which allowed this person to feel like they had the higher ground to defend their position. So this shock and surprise really caused a lot of worry and a lot of concern within this person, which is the blockage now. And we see that the hangman is the advice. So. A sacrifice needs to be made here, okay? You need to look at this from a new perspective, and also this can talk about recovery, healing. And let's see the influence here. There is this want to take control of things, but then it's like every time there's this want to take control of things, there's this overanalyzing going on, and it kind of slows it down or someone really wants control because we see willpower. Like, you know, I, when I see emperor kind of energy uh, and we see the, the chariot card energy, it's definitely a lot to do with willpower. So there's a, there's a lot of control, wanting control, lack of control, wanting to take away an ending, wanting to stop something, wanting to take away something that stopped, wanting to take away this advice. Somebody gave this person advice and now they wanna take that away because mm. now they have a concern, they were worried that, that something really shocking, surprising happened about the situation. So let's get more information here, Libra. Okay, give me more information about this chariot, please, and the current, why is the chariot here? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Yeah, there was a risk that was taken here and it left somebody at a crossroads in their potential for happiness, okay. What is up with this, this clarity here about this thing that was taken? Clarity here about this thing that was taken. Show me, show me about that, please. What's up with this? What's up with this clarity here that something was taken? All right, obviously I gotta go get that card. Okay, some new beginning in someone being loyal to their heart because things had to be done by the book. Now, family could be involved in this situation for some of you because the emperor card can represent a friend or can, excuse me, can represent a father figure, all right, or something official about the situation, right? Someone who's 
you know, an authority figure um, wanting authority over this. And also we see like the garden card kind of energy. We see somebody giving some advice. We see the reason why there's some shocking surprises because possibly other people on Bob cause some issues there. And we see this potential opportunity which caused some kind of shock and surprise and concern when it came to these other people. And it's like the, the, this advice and wanting to take that away. Like they feel like they got the wrong advice, right? And so they want to give you clarity about that. And it's like they felt like their new beginning was taken away and they weren't loyal to the heart because they did things by the book. Okay. So give me an understanding about this tower card, please. Give me an understanding about this tower card, please, for Libra. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Now, some of you, this could be... Also, something to do around work as well. Maybe work with this person. Could be other people involved, workplace. But I feel like more or less with you guys, it's, it's something pertaining to family and other people involved in the family. Okay. So there was a shock and surprise about being left out in the cold. And this person realized that there was a higher connection here and an opportunity towards a new life. And yeah, they wanted to be loyal to their heart and they saw the bigger picture there because of having to do things by the book. They felt like they had to do things by the book. It had to be in a structured, organized way, which makes sense because this emperor is well, it's very organized, very structured kind of energy, very official. I have to analyze this because things are very official. I have, to, I have to put a barrier in place, right? So we see there's advice that was given to end a situation when it came to going out which caused, caused of some concerns. And this caused something to be taken away and caused a lot of um, bad feelings because of this was very official in nature, okay, for some of you. Okay, so let's go further on this, Libra. So what is Libra's love interest? The one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What is Libra's love interest? Two long-term intentions towards them. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we see ending of this situation when it came to desires because of romance, because of feelings. Mm -hmm. Looks like you potentially you're going to gain the knowledge here about this thing that was, this situation that was taken away or something took away from the situation. Spirit just wants you to know that just focus on a positive outcome and being happy here. Yeah, other people were involved. There's a socializing card. Other people were involved in the situation. Gave some bad advice, looks like. Okay. Or wanted something to happen there around the situation. Okay. We see that there was a lot of worry and anxiety about the concern for success and, and, and things really changed. Again, Spirit's advice to you is be happy here. A ton of cups energy and the influence is a lot of regrets about what happened in this uncertainty now. This person seems to be concerned and uncertain about where they stand with you. So let's go further on this. Let's get more information. What is Libra's love interests? Long-term, true long-term intentions towards Libra. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Person sees you as somebody who's very sacred to them and worthy of their time, and they're trying to be mature about this. It looks like they may send you some kind of message, but it definitely looks like somebody is watching over them while they do that. Okay, so this person does want commitment here, but they know that there's some boundaries in place and the sense of being left out in the cold. Okay, so. Oh my goodness, look at that. The Two of Cups is coming out. The Eight of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. There's the family card coming out. Four of Swords. Ten of Wands. Three of Cups. Mm. Could have been friends too, but I feel like if you see the Ten of Pentacles, could be family and friends with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups coming out there. So their long-term intentions is they want a relationship there. The Two of Cups is there. They want love. They do intend to communicate some things to you. And uh, they do want to be loyal to you for the long term. Yeah, they see themselves with you. 
this person is doing a lot of planning and they want to take on some kind of burden or responsibility here and they want this joyful connection they want to spend time with you with the three of cups energy coming out yeah they want to overcome these burdens these responsibilities here and they're thinking about and they're planning on how to do that some of you there may be another person involved with the three of cups energy coming out but for not for some of you it's just that they just want to spend some time with you they're trying to figure out a way to do that um, that's what I feel like some of you they may do it through friends okay with the three of cups energy I feel like they're just trying to over you know overcome this this sense of responsibility that they're dealing with okay mm, okay so let's keep going here yep they want to send you some kind of communication eight of wands also is reconfirming that they want they intend to communicate this love to you okay and happiness and we see the main person coming out, so it could be you, could be the love interest. This person is intending to think about you and putting the work or effort into this. And there may be some, they may be doing some stuff in sly, slick ways through work to give you some kind of gift or give, give something to you, uh, something to you, something of value with the gift card energy. Mm-hmm. They're going to do this in, in a sly and slick way because of these burdens, these responsibilities with the Ten of Wands energy. They're doing some thinking, contemplating, or intending on thinking and contemplating about how to put the work or effort into this, but doing something that's sly or slick there, okay? Okay, so to get your attention or to give you some kind of gift, possibly to a friend or through a friend, okay? All right, so let's keep going here. Let's get more information. What is Libra's love interest? The one they're here for? The one what is Libra's love interest? Long-term intention. It's Libra, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Okay, they're definitely intending on some kind of um, freedom from their situation in a passionate way to resolve some kind of conflict here and to put the work or effort into that. That's like the occupation card. Mm-hmm to treat you with respect, that's what I feel like, because a lot, they definitely are very emotional about this connection and wanting some kind of intimate time with you. Okay. Okay, so they're, they're trying to get intimate and spend some intimate time with you. Mm -hmm. And trying to do this in a, in a sly way. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, let's keep going. So we see uh, they're going to give you a text message letter, a document, possibly while they're at work here with the money card energy about the fact that they love you with the Ace of Cups energy. There we go with the text message letter, a document. They're going to do something in a sly, slick way because of responsibilities and burdens of family and try to move towards some kind of reconciliation here with you. Okay. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple greens you guys to go check out right now. There's the weeklies with the day to day and the overall, and the monthlies for April, which is love, wealth, and health. Thank you guys so much, and I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I read my comments. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.